Welcome to Electro Online. Here are some more examples of how to multiply fractions together. Again, when we multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators together, and we multiply the denominators together, but if we can reduce the fractions before we start, that's even better. Notice though here that on these two fractions, the numbers 3, 7, and 11 are all prime numbers, meaning they can only be divided by themselves and by 1. That doesn't leave you a lot of chance that, oh, by the way, 2 is a prime number as well. They're all prime numbers, they're all different, no chance of reducing. And we go we continue with saying 3 times 2 is equal to 6, and 7 times 11 is equal to 77. And we're done. Over here, 7 and 11 are prime numbers, but 3 and 9 are not. 3 and 9 are both divisible by 3, which means 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1, 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. This leaves us with 7 thirds multiplied times 1 over 11, which is equal to 7 divided by 33. On that example right here, notice that 3, 5, and 7 are all prime numbers. 4 is not, but I cannot reduce 4 with any other number there, which means that this becomes 3 times 5, which is 15, and 4 times 7, which is 28. And that's the final answer. On this example here, 7 and 4, well, you can see that they can be divided by 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1. 14 divided by 7 is 2. And 9 and 12, they're both divisible by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. And then you can see the 2 and the 4. I can divide those both by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And I'm left with 1 third multiplied times 2 over 1, which is 2 thirds, and that is the final answer. And that's how you multiply fractions.